Okay, uh, this is a little little taste of how sprites work. I used a for loop to display all 4096 sprites. The first part of putting a sprite on the screen is using the spset command. The first parameter is the it's an important one. This number represents the sprite's ID. And when you want other commands to affect that specific sprite, you'll use this ID as the first parameter. The second parameter is the block on the sprite sheet that you want to display. Uh, this is why when crafting your own sprites, you want to make sure that all the walking animations are right beside each other. It's uh, much easier to just make you know, this variable plus one than to change this number to different values constantly. On line 6 we have SPOFS, which uh, moves the sprite location. You may use this in the future to move your character around the screen um, if you don't choose to incorporate a scrolling background. The first parameter is the sprite ID and the second and third ones are the X and Y. On line 7 we use SP scale to make the sprite big on the screen. The first parameter is of course the ID, second and third are the scaling by the X and Y coordinates. And uh, line 8 makes the program wait so that the sprites don't change too fast for us uh, to see them. And then on line 9 we clear the last sprite so that we can see the next one and they don't just pile on top of each other.